Today, you're going to learn how to make a pillowcase using the magic band and a decorative strip. In your kit came a patterned piece of fabric, a band piece of fabric that you're going to use as your decorative strip, and then in the closet you're going to find an additional piece of fabric to use as the band piece of fabric. When you cut your fabric, you're going to unroll your fabric from a bolt. Then, after you unroll the fabric from the bolt, so you're going to straighten it out nice and even, and you're going to take your yardstick. You're going to put the edge of the yardstick against the edge of the fabric, and you're going to make a mark at 10 inches. You're then going to move the yardstick down someplace else where it's still against the edge of the fabric, and you're going to mark again at 10 inches. for the open end and you're going to look for the fold. You're going to put the edge of the ruler at the fold and you're going to mark at 20 inches. And you're going to mark at 20 inches a few times. Double check that the edge of that ruler is at zero. Mark at 20, do it a few times. Then turn your ruler, connect the lines, see the teacher, and then cut. cut your decorative strip, you are going to cut 5 inches across. Make the mark several times, draw a line across and cut. First thing you're going to do is take your decorative strip, unfold it and fold it hot dog style. Place it on top and then put all the raw edges together and pin it perpendicular, making sure all three edges of the fabric match. lay it on the table, place the other fabric on top of it, and then start rolling small and tightly from the bottom of the fabric up until you see about an inch or two remaining. Then you're going to take it just like you're putting a hot dog in a bun and you're going to place it together and you see all the layers match up in the top. And what do you do to all those layers? You're going to pin those layers together. Now we're going to sew. Remember to back stitch beginning and end. Follow your 5 eighths of an inch. Don't sew over any pins. 
and make sure you don't sew the roll. After you pull out the two, your fabric should look like this. You'll see all three pieces. What you want to do is take your decorative strip and you're going to go to the iron and press your decorative strip up. Then you're going to fold your fabric right sides together and you're going to make sure the side seams match and the bottom seams match. And what are you going to do to those side seams and those bottom seams? Pin. Pin about every hand width apart. the side seam. Again, remember to backstitch beginning and end. Don't sew over the pins. Make sure you keep 5 eighths of an inch. Backstitch beginning and end. And this time you're also going to have to remember to pivot at the corner. You know to pivot when the bottom of your fabric matches the bottom notch underneath the presser foot. Leave your needle in, then you're going to lift your presser foot, make sure the needle's down, lower your presser foot, and continue sewing. zigzag to keep our fabric from fraying and falling apart. 